Hey, what's going on guys? I have a pretty important message that I think is really important as far as uh, dieting and more so about life. I, uh, I think one of my biggest struggles in life was not taking action. So that's like my, my big, uh, I guess like word of the day is going to be action. So I think in my life, I was at my heaviest when I was watching. I loved this guy, uh, actually like rest in peace. His name's Greg Plitt. He unfortunately passed away. But uh, he was an amazing fitness model, and I used to watch his videos religiously. I loved watching his videos, and I think I got in my head somehow that if I watched his videos, I was going to uh, just get fit, and I didn't take any action. So at that point in my life, I was obviously at my heaviest recently. I was uh, 272 pounds. I was like... Uh, Depressed in like a debilitating kind of way. I was uh, outrageously depressed and uh, My anxiety was through the roof and I think that anxiety was what caused me to not take action and grab a hold of my life I kind of call it like the open hand syndrome like you kind of got to take life and just grab it and dictate what you're gonna do with it because Otherwise, you're just gonna sit back and you're gonna you're gonna just experience all the things that happen to you and you're not happening to life. So that's my little uh, philosophy for the day. But I, uh, I just wanted to kind of like dive a little deeper into that and just talk about how comfortability is the worst thing that could have happened to me. I got comfortable with setting low goals. Uh, I got comfortable with feeling like a failure. I accepted that I was a failure. And I really got to a point where I, I was just absolutely stagnant. I got to that point where I was okay with being overweight because I was, that was all the only option I had. It that's what it felt like. I was okay with being uh, unsuccessful in my eyes. Uh, I feel like I was completely unsuccessful, and I mean I'm not saying I'm su successful now, but I'm I'm happy now which is, uh, I think, the biggest uh, turn of events here. So I think the biggest takeaway for this diet was that I needed to take action. That was the only way this diet was gonna happen. This was the only way I was gonna lose weight. And I truly believe that my happiness was just on the other side of that hill. I needed to take the action to get to the top of the hill. And then once the action happened, I was able to get to the bottom and here I am. I'm happy right now and I'm still taking action. I, I've been writing in my blog every day. Could I sound like a complete idiot? Yeah, is, is failure a total option? It, yeah, it's on the table, believe me. And I mean, talking to you guys, could I could people be watching my videos from high school saying, wow, this guy's a loser. Like, What's he doing with his life? Sure, people could think that and that was what was really scary to me. I was afraid that people were going to judge me. I was so comfortable with just living this life like this. I was comfortable here and not willing to venture out and really experience life for all that it has to offer. And I think things like losing people you love, like unfortunately, like, uh, you know, I, I lost uh, my grandfather. He was like my, uh, he was invincible to me. And then when, when he passed away, it kind of opened my eyes and I thought to myself, this could end at any second, you know, like this was the guy that to me was invincible, nothing could touch him, nothing could rattle him, and he passed away, you know, like you got to realize that you have this one life, you have this one opportunity to sound like Eminem, <laughs> but uh, you have this one opportunity to make the most out of it, you don't get a second chance, you don't get a th another try, so what I guess what I'm trying to say is Take action today, whether it be do that diet that you've been thinking you can't do and in your mind, visualize yourself at the finish line. Like my goal from when I started this about three months ago, so in about January, I pictured myself on the beach with my shirt off. I was that guy that would kind of go to the beach and keep my shirt on because I didn't want anyone to see me without a shirt on. So my goal is to have a shirt off you know, be experiencing the beach the way that I used to, the way that I want, like I, I did in the past. So I want you to visualize your goal, 
take action and reach that goal. Because if you fall short of your goal, you still made progress, which is, uh, I think, super important. So that's my little uh, my little video for the day. I got to stop wearing blue. I'm constantly wearing blue. I mean, like, like the video, uh, subscribe, do whatever you want. But uh, as long as it's one of those two things, then you should for sure do those things. Uh, yeah, so uh, have a great day, guys. And uh, take some action this week.